Hi folks, Steve Rizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in version 19 of CyberLink Power Director looking at some of the cool new features in the program. One exciting new feature has been added to the Mask Designer. So I'm going to select a clip on the timeline here. And I'm going over here to the Tools menu or the Tools function button along the top of the timeline and selecting Mask Designer. Now the Mask Designer has been around for a couple versions of the program and this is pretty cool that you can add a mask or mask an area of your video based on certain shapes or based on text or a font or you can even use a brush to paint a mask onto your video. But brand new in version 19 of the program is this little custom selection tool or custom mask selector. And with it, I can select an area or select an object or person in the video and draw a mask around them and then follow those people or follow that object as they move around the video frame. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to select that custom selection mask. You notice everything goes dark when I do that. And it's a vector tool or a Bezier tool. So to draw it, all I need to do is click and create dots. And you can see it's drawing a line to connect those dots. And when I click on the first dot, it completes the object and we have a selection. I can move these little dots around to refine my shape. And these are Bezier, which means that if I click on any one of the dots, I get little handles and I can drag on those handles and shape it so that this is not connect the dots, but it's actually rounded off a bit. So I can get pretty precise here with my selection. What is especially cool about this selection tool is that when I draw my selection, it's saved as a keyframe here on the little timeline in the mask designer. So if I were to say move the playhead a little further down and now my object that I've selected has moved off the screen or out of my selection, I can just drag that selection over to it, I can even resize or reshape it, and it's recorded in a new keyframe. I can add as many keyframes as I need to continue to track with that object or that selection, reshape it as much as I'd like, and then when I play my video, the selection will actually animate and follow the object. Now I could have added a few more keyframes in there probably to get a little more precise with my mask, but you see how it works. You can animate it and reshape it using keyframes and follow an object. This is great if you're adding, say, a special effect to a layer or you're blurring a face uh, the way they do on the TV show Cops or hiding nudity or hiding something that you think is offensive to your audience. You can track with it using keyframes on the little timeline. It's a pretty cool high level tool, a nice addition to the mask designer. If you want to know more about this program, how all these tools work and step by step, how to use some of the new features in the program, be sure and check out the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And that is available at amazon.com. I'm the author, Steve Grisetti, and I hope to see you again real soon.